Good evening. A House of Lords committee has called for the Scotland Bill to be halted until more details about its financial implications are known. The bill's due to give new tax and spending powers to Holyrood. The Lords Economic Affairs Committee also says the Barnet formula, which helps set the level of money Scotland gets, should be scrapped. More from our political editor, Brian Taylor. The Scottish Parliament is to get limited new powers over welfare and from 2017 will set your income tax. It's a question of balance. The new powers mean Holyrood will raise much of its own money by controlling Scottish income tax rates and bans. That means a balancing cut in the block grant from Westminster. The argument is over how to determine the size of that cut. The Scotland Bill providing those new powers is now going before the House of Lords. But their Economic Affairs Committee say they can't rule on the bill until there's a deal on the money. We're still in the dark about what they will mean and what they, how they will Im impact uh, the block grant that comes from the rest of the United Kingdom to Scotland. Under some scenarios that block grant could shrink quite dramatically um, and there's obviously a, an intention that there should be no detriment but on the other hand there has to be an element of risk sharing. Until we know what the rules are we simply don't have a clue. The Lords Committee also says that the current Barnet formula, which sets the Scottish budget, is not a sustainable method to calculate funding. That's angered Scotland's Finance Secretary who says the Barnet formula is a core element of the entire package. The only conclusion you can arrive at looking at the House of Lords report is that the Lordships have either been sleeping while the, Scotland, the Smith Commission was being constructed and reporting or they're trying to use this as a means of reading the Scottish budget. And uh, we certainly will have no truck with uh, the reading of the Scottish budget. I've made it absolutely clear that the financial framework that must be put in place here must be fair to the people of Scotland. And UK ministers say they'll honour the Smith Commission package in full. Barnet stays. We are determined to make the Scottish Parliament the most powerful devolved parliament in the world. And uh, in parallel with that, we need to put in place a fiscal framework that is fair to Scotland, fair to the rest of the UK and built to last. The suspicion lingers here at Holyrood that the Treasury may be trying to cut Scotland's money using new powers as some sort of cover. But UK ministers are adamant. They say they want a fair, workable deal and they don't want the delay suggested today by the House of Lords. The talks between the two governments on finance are continuing but will undoubtedly now stretch into the new year. Ryan Taylor, Reporting Scotland, Holyrood. Well, tonight, a group of leading academics have also questioned how workable the new package of powers might be. Our business and economy editor, Douglas Fraser, is here now. What are they saying, Douglas? Sally, this is the Institute for Fiscal Studies, as well as the economist professor David Bell at Stirling University. And they, they are saying what I think we probably already knew. This is very complicated. It's much more complicated than the politicians have been admitting so far. All the more so because of two principles referred to uh, there that were set out in the Smith Commission nearly a year ago. One is that if one parliament, either Holyrood or Westminster, makes a tax change that impacts on the other, then it should compensate for that. And the other one is that if either parliament raises a tax and the other gets the benefit of extra spending from that without raising the tax, then that too should lead to compensation. And what these public finance experts are saying is that's unworkable, that they conflict these two principles. It is relatively easy to cut next year's block grant to Holyrood based on how much uh, income tax has been paid. But the years after that become very, very much more complex. And depending on whether you calculate on the basis of revenue or spending or population change as well, you can get very different outcomes. And they're calculating in this report, it could be as much as a billion pounds after 10 years adrift, depending on which one you, you use, Scotland being up or down by a billion pounds. And that's a billion out of 30 billion, which is obviously a very significant amount. Can they use the existing funding formula, the Barnet formula, to help decide this? Well, that Barnet formula has been around for 37 years uh, and, and because it, it limits the amount of haggling between Westminster and Scottish ministers, it served its purposes quite well on that score. But both the Lords Committee, as you're hearing, but also these uh, finance uh, experts, they're saying it's time to review and probably to replace this. Finance experts suggest a, a share-out depending on need uh, in different parts of the UK. That's opposed right across Scottish political parties. They probably fear that Scotland may come out of that assessment rather badly. 
Smith, the Smith Commission last year they'd got agreement by parking a lot of these difficult issues, but uh, no one wants to lose out as a result of this, obviously. So the, the financial and the political stakes are very high. Douglas, thank you.